In the bustling city of Chennai, a unique form of healing is making waves, art therapy. Therapeutic practice uses creative processes like drawing, painting, and even digital art to improve mental, emotional, and physical well being. It is becoming a popular alternative and complementary therapy, offering a new path for those seeking relief from stress, anxiety, and other mental health challenges. But what exactly is art therapy and how does it work? Art therapists describe it as a process where creativity helps clients unlock their thoughts and feelings. Activities like painting or drawing enable people to express emotions they may struggle to put into words. Art therapy work very positively on uh, human body. You know, it helps in reducing the physical tension and stress. It reduces the cortisol levels, which is uh, which brings in better well-being in the uh, client uh, uh, client's body. It uh, brings in a state of flow, which is like a relaxation state. So in my experience, many of my clients have told that they have better sleeps and they have uh, lesser physical tension after a regular art therapy sessions. Art therapy is not just about creating beautiful work. It is about the profound changes that can happen during the process. For many, it's been a game changer in dealing with stress, anxiety, behavioral challenges and more. I was experiencing a lot of grief uh, because a very close person had uh, passed away. Uh, I wasn't able to articulate or talk about a lot of my emotions. So uh, at that point, I experienced art therapy with one of, a, one, of, one of my therapists. And at that point, I was really able to get an idea about the relationship I shared with this person, uh, what that relationship meant to me, and it brought a lot of closure to my life. So it was really uh, very helpful. Psychologists echo these sentiments, noting that art therapy often complements traditional therapies, offering a safe space for self-expression. Art therapy is going to focus on the right hemisphere of the brain, which is going to help with uh, emotions as well as some creativity as well, right? So a person who is experiencing uh, sort of catharsis through art therapy, they feel more uh, in sense of control with what they are experiencing and how they are sharing that experience with someone else. So that's one of the main significant difference when you're looking at a creative form of therapy. The creative process plays a vital role in the effectiveness of art therapy. It helps to release stress, calm the mind and offers a non-verbal outlet for deep-seated emotions. Each session is tailored for the individual using different art forms to suit their needs. With new centers emerging and interest surging, this form of therapy is becoming a key part of the city's mental health landscape. Certified therapists are now guiding individuals of all ages towards a creative path to healing. In India, there are not many institution or uh, RCI certified uh, courses related to art therapy. But yes, there are a few uh, institutions and organizations uh, which have certified courses. Uh, but it's not like art therapy, art therapy, it is like, uh, you know, art based therapy or expressive art therapy or art performing, uh, art performing therapies. So some of the places like the Christ University in Bangalore, then there are NGOs like Amantara and East West Center of Counseling and Training in Chennai with uh, uh, WCC. Uh, college, they do have um, expressive art therapy courses and art based therapy certified courses. There are very few uh, organizations like this, like a handful, maybe seven or eight. That's it. For those wondering if art therapy replaces medication, experts clarify that it often works alongside other treatments. While it provides a powerful outlet for emotions, it does not necessarily mean stopping medication altogether. It is about creating a balanced, personalized approach to healing. Art therapy can be used as a complementary pack in 
mental health, any other mental health practices to reinforce any particular uh, new skill that they have developed, be it through CBT, DBT, whatever mindfulness technique that they have learned. If you want to reinforce that particular uh, skill, then art therapy is an effective tool to do that. Art therapy is also a very safe uh, way to emote our expressions. So that's one more way to go about it. Art therapy in Chennai is more than a trend. It is a testament to the power of creativity. For those looking for a new way to navigate their mental health journey, art therapy might just be the brush that paints a path to recovery. Heart therapy is not just about making heart. It's about using creativity as a way to heal and grow. If you are seeking for specific treatments, remember that heart therapy isn't a regulated medical field. Any doubts, consult your doctor. If you are an artist or just someone looking for a new way to heal, give it a shot. Heart therapy could just give you a healthier and balanced life.